Good day to you all farmers and thank you for joining this program where Agribusiness Media in partnership with Fanira Safety brings you information on farm safety. We believe you can reduce the risk of your farm, of farm injuries, the risks of uh, illness or even death. And this requires evaluation of the risks to be able to put in place actions that will minimize them. So the starting point we believe is education or information sharing. Last week, we were discussing the safe use of agrochemicals and thank you all farmers for the comments and we are glad that you benefited. And today you will be interested to know that we are discussing scotch cut safety. And uh, as usual, we are joined by Tichawana Mungazi from Fanira Safety. Tichawana is the Safety Health and Environment uh, Officer. Tichawana, welcome to the program. And we can go straight into the today's presentation. Okay, uh, thank you, Mr. Kofi, for the opportunity to speak with, with farmers. Uh, concerning issues to do with safety. And uh, in our session today, we are going to be talking about scotch cut safety. Uh, it is a tra tragic issue that we received uh, in the previous week. Uh, news about uh, an infant who was involved in an accident and died at the spot. And that's when why we decided to take on this uh, topic and discuss it with you farmers. So uh, let me begin. So uh, a scotch cut, uh, uh, it forms a part of the history of transport in Scotland where it is, it is believed to have originated, hence the name scotch cut. And uh, in Southern Africa, uh, we all define it as a two-wheeled uh, cut with a pulling bar that forms uh, the part of the suspension. And uh, this is uh, what everyone's uh, pictures when you're talking about a scotch cut. And uh, this scotch cut uh, is normally drawn by a pair of, of oxen or donkeys and is used uh, mainly as a mode of transport from one point to another. You want to go to the hospital, you want to visit uh, your friend from another village, you can use a scotch cut. And it was also used for, for, for logistics purposes, that is to carry agricultural pro produce, manure, firewood, water in barrels or uh, whatever else that leaves or enters the farm. And uh, however, our main concern uh, with this coach cut uh, comes with the safety and health uh, of them. And uh, in Zimbabwe, there are a lot of incidents and accidents that have been recorded. And uh, most of these accidents contain occurs mainly to, to young boys and uh, in, in, in the rural areas. And uh, over a period of five years, that is from 1997 to 2002, there were 19 patients admitted with scotch cut related uh, trauma. And 15 of these were, were male, with two of them being uh, female, that is according to the UB, UBH accident register. And uh, most of the injuries from the uh, scotch cut involved blunt chest trauma, uh, blunt abnormal, abnormal trauma, penetrating ab abdominal uh, trauma and uh, head injuries. And re research indicates that uh, whoever is involved in a scotch cut accident, uh, their mortality rate is high. That is, most of the people that, that are victims of a scotch cut uh, in incident or accident, they usually don't survive, they usually die. And uh, on the 11th of December, 2018, uh, a 12 year old boy dies uh, and two others were injured as the donkey scotch cut over 10. That was according to, to, to the news day. And uh, there is another headline there that was recorded uh, on January this year, uh, where a man uh, was killed late at night from a scotch cut collision on his bicycle. And uh, an overview of all uh, of these incidents that have been occurring over the, the years from 2017 to 2020. Uh, in 2017, we, uh, one death was recorded uh, with four injuries recorded. And in 2018, there were more injuries uh, with just one uh, death. Uh, and uh, that for the, the, the worst case scenario was recorded uh, in 20, 2019 uh, of all the injuries that were, all the accidents that occurred, all of them died. That is uh, three 
these things uh, resulted in the death of, of the victims. And uh, in 2020, 2020, it was much worse with six deaths and uh, two injuries. And uh, as you can picture, the deaths all from this coach cut uh, is uh, increasing over the years. And that's why we are here to discuss about these issues and how, how uh, we can uh, manage them and prevent accidents. And uh, in recent news, like I highlighted before, uh, an infant and an octogenarian died in a scotch cut uh, accident. And these were two separate incidents that occurred on the same day. And it was reported that the three-year-old uh, infant from Murewa was, uh, the, the, the three-year-old infant was chewed when a scotch cut, he and his mother were aboard overturned and uh, the, the, the infant mother with, uh, bought a, this, this, this coach cart with the baby strapped at her back and while on their way to, 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 to the nearby grinding meal, that's when the coach cart overturned after eating a, a tree stump. And uh, this led to the killing of the infant and the mother was seriously injured as well as another passenger. And on the same day, in another story, uh, a, a 22 year, 82 year old man also died in a separate scotch cut accident that occurred in Chivu and the cut uh, was being controlled by a 14 year old boy and, and this scotch cut he was, is reportedly, reportedly hit a tree and also overturned hitting the old man on the head and also he was entrapped underneath where he died on the spot. So these are some of the incidents that have occurred and uh, like we said, this one is a recent one. It happened on the 21st of July, which uh, prompted us to, to, to discuss about the accident and the incident that occurs when someone is using a scotch card. However, a, uh, an accident, by definition, it's an unplanned event or something that occurs unexpectedly. That is, no one can plan to be involved in an accident. No one expects expects to be involved in, a, in an accident. However, there are factors that can contribute to one being involved in an, in a scotch cut accident. And uh, with reference to scotch cut, some of these causes uh, include boarding on or off a scotch cut when it is in motion. Uh, another factor include uh, drinking whilst operating. Uh, we all know that drinking alcohol can affect your judgment, can affect your behavior. So. We advise whenever you are you want to visit your friend, maybe there's a beer party in another village. Whenever you want to to to, to go there or use a scotch scotch card as your mode of transport, have someone that will help you operate the, the, the machinery whenever you are drunk. And uh, operating uh, operating the, the, the scotch card while standing, it's another factor that can 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 lead to accident like this guy or like what this guy is doing. That's an uh, unsafe act that can cause accident. And uh, whenever you are about to operate this uh, scotch card, before you operate it, we advise you to inspect all the components of the of your scotch card to check the integrity to check the integrity of it so that you prevent any accident that may okay. Uh, Another cause of accident uh, include overloading the scotch cut, and these this uh, affects the, the, the balance of your scotch cut. As we have heard from all the incidents that I was reading, you would hear that the, the, the scotch cut overturned. That is to say, this machinery is not uh, well balanced, and if you overload it, you increase the risk. And uh, it Overloading the scotch cut also puts, puts more strain on, on, on the animal and uh, the animal can react with, uh, with unsafe, unsafe behaviors. And we also, another factor is uh, over speeding. Uh, just like uh, any vehicle, over speeding is the cause of accident and uh, we advise against that. And so uh, to prevent all oh, these incidents, all these accidents that we have been talking about, and all the contributing factors of accidents, I would advise you not to, to, to use your scotch card on highways, especially at night when visibility is poor. And uh, we also advise you advise you to, to maintain and repair any broken or, or unstable parts. That's where the inspection uh, components are 
becomes critical. That is, before using it, you should inspect to check if they are if there are repairs that are needed or if there are any unstable or broken parts on your on your scotch card. And uh, awareness training is very important, uh, especially to children about the dangers of riding. Uh, without proper supervision, uh, just like kids, every kid uh, would want to, uh, to ex experiment everything at their young stage, so they might not have the knowledge of the risks of what they, they will be doing uh, with this coach card. So there is need to educate, there is need to, to raise awareness uh, to them so that they will know this is a risk and a dangerous uh, uh, machinery that uh, usually needs supervision. And uh, we advise, we advise uh, adults that they should ensure that small children do not ride on scotch cards and monitored. And uh, for a safe ride, there should be someone, preferably an adult, uh, leading the animals, especially with, the, with people on board. Just like uh, this picture is showing, there's someone who's leading uh, the, the animals. Uh, it's on a bridge. And uh, as you can see, maybe there, there is a car that was coming, so he's pulling it aside just to allow the, 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 the oncoming vehicle to, to pass through. And that can only happen if there's someone who is leading the, the, the animals. If there's no someone leading the animals, whenever they will come in contact or with another oncoming vehicle, the animals may, 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 may behave in whichever they might want, and you may not be able to control them. Uh, if you are not leading them. And uh, every individual should be fined for, for operating scotch cards without uh, proper reflective uh, uh, clothing, especially at night, although we advise it, advise against that, but if circumstances push you to, 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 to operate it at night, you should ensure that you have a uh, proper reflective uh, clothing uh, because of that uh, incident like uh, that I highlighted before, where, where, where someone who collided with the, with the scotch cut at night because of poor visibility. So reflective uh, clothing or reflective equipment can also prevent such incidents. And uh, people should also find if they uh, just operate this without an assistant to, to, to lead the animals, it's another cause of accidents. And, uh, we advise against operating the, the, machine, the a scotch cut on highways that can lead to, to, to accident also. And whenever you are operating your scotch cut, consider the welfare of your animal. That is when you are using donkeys, you don't, uh, you don't use a yoke, you should use uh, reins for the control of donkeys. And when you are using oxys, that's when a, a yoke is advised. And uh, with that, I would like to, to thank you. I hope uh, you all gained something from this presentation and we are going to implement it in our farms, in our operations, just to prevent uh, more incidents from occurring. Thank you, farmers, and thank you for listening. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Tishona, for the great informative presentation. You know, it's very sad that precious lives are being lost. And as discussed in the presentation, most of these incidents can be avoided. We do hope that farmers who apply uh, the measures discussed and presented by uh, Teacher Ona Mungazi. If you have any questions and comments, please drop in the comments uh, section. So we would like to thank Fanira for making this webinar a success. From Agribusiness Media, my name is Rollings and wishing you the best in your farm businesses. Thank you. <laughs>